new names only larger. Everywhere in new names, curtains drawn over my desk. A lover plucks a name from senescent pages and crowns me. The best names you can take off when the hour expires. By today, I have already forgotten who I'll be tomorrow. New names like worlds, only larger. I give false names across borders and they carry me forward. Tie one behind my back, around my neck, hang it up by the door when I enter. New names like dry rot where I splinter. Forgive the fracture made flesh, give it a new name. Rename the pain, watch it simmer. Rename the spite, watch it glitter. Baptized by the brawn of the balisong. Flence the excess, new names trenching underneath the muscle. How close to the bone can you condone the cut if the true name lies flush to that which holds us up? Is it the bone that carries us or all of our names like perspective lines? To be crucified is to exist. To be anything at all is to be a vanishing point. But if I am the sum of individual imaginations, is my body multiplicitous? New names like sigma notations. If my body takes work to name adequately, is it industrious? New names like beautiful machines inventing riots. Appendix of inflictions. Imagine you awoke to two moons hanging over your head. The city once familiar twice bathed in light, as if baptized, as if newly named. The old names may hold against siege, but the two towns, they have split at the math. New names like new points on an integer line. There's a positive and negative zero depending on the understanding, depending on the naming. And loss names me sweet in the mouth of silence. Is this a positive or negative nothing? My lost ones sing in their sleep, giving me new names. And the lost names echo back, and I split, and I split, and I am infinitely divisible. What is the Latin name for a being composed of fractions? When my christening? New names like acid taps running all night. Every morning, I am pulled through the eye of amnesia, a song pushed through a mirror, playing it back, to be written and to write down our two songs. A birth rattle is not a death rattle, and death not universal despite the rumors. A death is not a death is not a death in honor, denied at the threshold. A name is not a name is not a name, and all my names, none in my own handwriting. I am haunted by the question. Call me by an answer. Solve for my split. Will a scientific name be the pin to my butterfly wing? Must I crown myself with a name of thorns for it to stick? Must the name be the nail to make me an exhibit? So this is an excerpt from um, just a series of postcard, postcard poems. So selected postcards. From Chihuahua. I have never seen the wolf take his teeth to any neck but mine. This binds me by strange honor to follow my blood through the snow. Blooming compass, faithful rose, from pleasure. Season of apricity. The wolf sleeps sound but for his electric chair dance. Winter and I watch each other across the water. Viento de la vida, cuanto hay que esperar. Wind of life, how long must we wait, sings Diana. We are measuring. From repository. The wolf is patient and patiently suggests the present takes precedence over the past, over the phone, over, over. I am argumentative, I admit, but I am no magician. I cannot saw the impossible oak. The past and present are one yoke, no eggshell to overcome. Traveling away, I remember what a friend's daughter said after the death of her mother, said, permit my anger. I want to feel this. From no man's land. Silence so broad it shadows time continuums. Glaciers collapse in the distance, dropping like courtroom verdicts. No room for guilt this high. Between borders, I grow more inside myself than ever. If I fail here, it is punctuation. Mama, I can feel the soil falling over my head. Fog draws the curtain before night can undress. Give me your shiver. Somehow, everything that has happened feels unimportant. Walk into the glacial lake, watch the last month submerge. The cold shears a layer off. Season of yellowed histories, 
season of expiry dates, season of my body with your body, temperature rising, season of her body with your body, rising, whose words were falsified and fossil first. I am not who was I before. From Taganit. Stars are comets with their hair shorn off. No, stars are all comet hair brushed out. I saw my braid off with rusted blade. Abdo rubs ash into the dog's flayed back, the night gutted by that terrible music. From Zakopane. <laughs> Amidst the pistol whip of mountain winds, Rai cuts my hair with real scissors. Her steady brown hands, now golden spools. spools. There, I think. The less to look at, the more free I am. There's always something to see. Always there is something to see, rearranged until dawn's first bleed. The more I see, the freer I am. The more I see, the less to look at. Head a golden spool. Memory winds itself back. Self invented in retrospect. Still portrait with glass eye. The worst thing about living in cities is the way they make of you an antiseptic. I do not entertain the woman cleaning her teeth on public transportation the way my grandmother might, porch stooped in eastern light. I ask only how she can behave so brazen, hold open. I know shame like an aperture for all my understandings. My shame a vestigial limb, I evolve backwards now. It is embarrassing how unanimal I am. For this failure of mine, I come to love my immigrant women, but most of all their mothers, who do not bring shame across the border or ocean, or if they do, it is not shame as I know it, or is lost in translation, I am heartened by this, and fight against the city sickness of bleached mannerisms, smelling of monolithic class polished shapeless, and so I root for the public nail clippers, my grandmothers and daughterless elders, most of whose hands have not seen a manicure, hands too swollen for wedding rings, and they are all my grandmothers, and they are all my elders, and who will sing accolades to their calluses? And so I root for the meticulous shoppers, moving inverse to the speed of light, I move with them. I ask light to take a breather, for isn't it corporate to move with such urgency? Is the urgency of my shame corporate then? Who sold it? At what price this culture? Texture made culture textile made too costly for hands that work the loom. Forgetting a language is not forgetting in that language. And so I root for the media connoisseurs that forego headphones and hit play without scruple, reigning public spaces with a million tongues, none of them Anglican, never looking up in shame. But if they did, their eyes would ask, are you uncomfortable to not understand? Well, good. And this is the last piece, um, The Iron Dialectic. It's after Ann Carson, um, who has a quote that says, how is a pilgrim like a blacksmith? He bends iron and love bends him. The Iron Dialectic. Rather than new imaginations, I fashion heaven after places I have been. Heaven is a question I like to pose others, as in, what does your heaven look like? Curdled secular, I mean, the fat that collects over holy milk boiling clean. I once believed heaven must be an airport terminal. Whether I dreamt of arriving or vanishing is a good question. A good question is one that opens into a valley. Did I dream of someone waiting or did I dream I was a sugar cube dropped in a tall drink of water, watching others walk into their waiting while I dissolved in all the arriving? Heaven must be the current that carries us back. I myself am the first blacksmith in my family. The women dress in beginnings and snap umbilical cords like loose threads, but are not very good at what comes next. In July, I spend the Flemish morning amidst Van Gogh paintings. Gogh looked up to his lineage and immaculately copied the masters. In the evening, I take up the sword and start sawing off branches. Women in my family are artistic with how they retire blood. You have to admire our ethic. I study well that summer in vinegar bath, sharpening, searching for surface. A rusted blade is a shoddy mirror. Lack of hostility does not mean an animal is enjoying your presence. People don't get this. 
Solitude is a heavy cream I drink frequent. Even in good company, I find myself studying the ways others seem more alive than I. The urge to dance strikes in my iron long after lights out. The fire must be hot enough or I will not bend. Blacksmiths are experts in the point beyond consent, when all that metal remembers is yield. If we master our past, history floats us. One can unlearn sinking into the has-been. Broke and intermittently bitter, I take up residence in the bed of a Parisian who teaches music to be smarter. No sex, I say, as he hoists me into his lap, contorting to make rooms for the young ideals of artistry. As I reach for my pages, his hands ask questions of my body. Boundaries, he says, and again. Every time the word is repeated, I feel its message deteriorate, like Basinski's disintegration tapes. You cannot step into the same story twice. Classic fables may keep their shape in repetition, so a river keeps a river no matter how many bodies sweep through. I remember the rain over the canals, how it looked like soft applause. I'm not stupid enough to posit myself a thing worth clapping for. I learn much about palms in Morocco. Dates separate like soft brown hands. Uncle Ami whistling, hauling huge sack of dates come morning, biting in the taste of arrival. The sky on fire, the mountains on fire, the women wear their colors so the men do not know they are on fire. We sit eating tagine in the half light of each other. When the kitten comes begging, it is hurled onto the roof. I count down between its plantative cries like counting for thunder. Picked up while surging for Tangier, the young daughter of the family rents me out for the week, for companionship, my passport proof of sale. When she smiles, I think of pianos. At least my hands can yield to the memory of song. Over lunch, they ask about my father, and I say he died a long time ago. Her mother says, okay, my husband is now your father. No one hesitates from their meal. The sword swings over their heads but draws no blood, biting down an arrival. It is out of character to find myself out of words. Who is machinery then? Hitchhiking, I find myself often on an ocean of time, not much to do but pick dead skin off memories. An old lover once told me I pull hearts. I still do not know what this means. In some cultures, communities pool their money every month. In turn, one or another withdraws a lump sum until they empty the chamber of the gun. Does this mean I am looking for a greater return on love? Too much time trading in what I hold for higher value. I betray my craft. A blacksmith has only the raw of what is on their workbench. The increase of value comes from the way it does not keep shape, yet stays true to substance. So a river is greater than a river, for it can flood and remain a river, for all the secrets it keeps in its waters about what is necessary for living. And dogs go mad even in cities we love. After barking up my moon, the italicized after, he buys me a train ticket and I don't get far enough. The images are branded into me. What a good blacksmith I am. Taking off everything, I walk into the Mediterranean Sea where I remain for hours, thinking salt, thinking salt, a purifier. Under flood conditions, a river will collect sediment and carry it off, eventually forming an alluvial deposit. Such a collection is termed to have little relief. Over time, all the sediment creates a new landscape. All my sediment creates in me a new landscape, no matter where I carry it. The river is greater than a river for the ways it does not keep shape, yet remains a river, washes its hands clean of by becoming more. Its process of self-purification is necessary for living, forges new regions in the story of a thing. The river is the first, the greatest blacksmith in my family. Women are so often overflowed, my, pl my flood pains begin to feel organic. Heaven must be the current that carries us out of ourselves. Yet must I assure there are good men in the story. Take, for example, the nameless one becomes the namer. I point to things and ask for them in Spanish. El arbol, el mar, la luna, hermosa. We sit and watch the sun bleed out, as per renewable contract. Across the Strait of Gibraltar, the Atlas Mountains teeth the horizon. A kitten churns air in my lap and horses gaze around us, 
seeming translucent in this ghostly place of convergence. At night, we take to cheap wine victoriously, invent the future, busking at the seafront, more wine, hosing down the daylight. The first buds of joy, and how deep grief eats into the root of them. He makes me peyote tea, and I take my sleeping pills before the hallucinations wake from hibernation, bloom into the blueprints of my fears. I remember the handmade yidrasil hung around my, graceful na my disgraceful nape, the vulnerable look of a man meant for moonlight operating a pay-per-minute computer at the print shop, how I wanted it to stop, this moment of convergence between a fever dream and an equation. There is a long river between the romantic and the logician in me. Ashamed, I am pulling the man of reverie into the present. Ashamed, I am giving the man space at all. I am a sugar cube dropped in a tall drink of water. Will I be tried for malleability? Hemoglobin accounts for most of the iron in my body, and a blacksmith works with their hands. I cannot work if I do not bleed. New names, only larger, out of the metal in me. Heaven must be the current that carries us back washes us out, the impossible beacon, enough light, and all you can see is oblivion. <laughs>